Hello everybody, this is CY Mac from Mac Hobby Channel and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate uh, shooting this Crossman T4. Uh, so this is a Crossman T4 air pistol, air gun here and uh, here you see I had a uh, scrubbed off the text to make it more realistic and you can oil the plastic with uh, some nice oil to get it back to black and so on. So basically this is a non blowback air pistol and uh, follow me along and uh, I will load everything the CO2 and everything so just to run it down and I'm gonna shoot with you guys okay here now to operate the pistol basically first you have to go like that and open this compartment and right here you press onto the plate and push it out so this is the new uh, invention that the crossman guys did okay so you put the steel tool into here you can put a bit of pelican oil right here at the tip and then what you do is you put this back on like that okay and then it snap back on here push in and clamp and now the steel tool is automatically uh, pierced and so to open the slide for loading you press here okay and it opens up the port here now it comes with some clips like that okay to load the clips um, okay this is a empty clip and this is the magnet which you can load BBs okay it sticks or it's better if you load pellets remember no uh, pointed pellets as well so yeah uh, we insert the pellets in from the back okay just me and so you put the pellets in one by one some pellets are too long and so it's better to use the uh, hollow point or the wad cutter stuff like that okay so this is the pellet and now you pick it up and put it in so first let me shoot with this pellet this is the Skanko type 2 blue arrow okay so you slide and it closes okay the safety is right here press and so now this is fire mode okay follow me along to the range I'm now standing at about 15 feet from my target so the first shot will be on the steel plate, uh, on the steel soup can plate at the top. Okay, down. The second one will be the soup can or the steel can on the right. And then now the empty and uh, with the cap on on the large uh, soda bottle on the left done now just a few more shots on the soup can whoops okay done okay now to open you press this again flip it out and there you go now second mag here is to test the accuracy of the gun on the top trap with my pellet that I had just put in this is hollow point from RWS Okay, let's look at the top. I'm going to shoot eight shots. Okay, done. Eight shots. And we unload by pressing this button. Okay, good. Now, let's come over to our trap and look at the target. So basically, very nice screw prints that you can see. Okay, let me just put my finger here. <laughs> so that's the grouping with the Crossman T4. Very accurate, and I must say that it's a nice gun. And uh, right below here, this is the steel can. With the Crossman T4, we shot in, and it goes out the other way. Like that. Okay, it's shot in and it goes out the other way here 
Okay, so you see two exit hole, one and two, and then two entrance hole. So pretty nice. Go through both sides of the uh, of the steel can, and this is how it looks when it goes through. Okay, go through okay. all the way, and also here on the soda pop. See, this is the blue thing inside. That's the pellet I shot in. So basically. Uh, the the pellet went in and got stuck but didn't go through and this is the hole that the pellet went in okay so yeah and there's one more hole here as well no not that one uh, just this one I think okay and as you can see I put the cap on which seals the air inside which makes it much harder to uh, to damage so this is the Crossman T4, an average uh, chrono to about 400 uh, FPS, and um, also it gives you about 8 megs to, um, like yeah, 8 megs, like about uh, 64 to uh, something shots per CO2 card, so that's pretty good. So enjoy my video, subscribe and like, and hope you enjoy your Crossman T4 as well. Thank you, bye bye.